everyone. Thanks so much for joining me for my March and April favorites. So we've got two months here because we were traveling for a lot of April and I didn't have a chance to film my March favorites. So we will have a few more things than normal to talk about. Starting with a lot of Chanel. So I picked up this product as well as had this one. It's the number one to Chanel. We have here soft pink and we have medium coral, which is the newer one to me. Let me put this cap on so it looks nice. But I love these for evening. I traveled with these. So when I wasn't wearing SPF, this is what I had on my skin. There is a reflective quality to this, but also a blurring quality, like a filtered kind of quality. So I really enjoyed these. They feel nice on the skin. They dry down really, really nicely. I don't have that on my skin today because I wanted to show you a different combination, but I do want to mention I've been wearing these quite a bit in the evenings. Now for the daytime when it comes to Chanel, I picked these up which I wish were available in the US. So if you do have these available to you, I'll try and link them below. See if I can do that. Not sure I can, but if I can, I will link them below. But we've got this LeBlanc La Base. So it's a brightening SPF product with a bit of blurring as well. So it reminded me of these. Not the same shade though, but the same idea. You would think they would be the same shade, but they're not. These LeBlancs are much lighter. I'll swatch them, of course, for you. But we have here this shade Rosé and Pesh. And Rosé leaves more of a white cast on me than Pesh does, although they, they, although they both still leave a bit of a white cast. I'll use the Rosé in the center and then Pesh on the exterior just to give it a little bit of dimension and then go over it with yet another product. And I wish these were available to us in the US, but if you do have access to them, I love how they dry down as well. They wear really beautifully. Another product that is not readily available to us in the US, but again, if you have access to this, I do show you a side-by-side -side of a product that can do a very similar job to this. Although this one does have SPF. So this is the LeBlanc Brightening Compact Foundation. There it is. And it comes with a little sponge, although I applied it with a brush today because the sponge easily and quickly gets dirty to the degree it needs to probably be cleaned, but it doesn't seem like it's really durable enough to wash frequently. So I'm just trying to find a different way to use this, but I love that it has SPF. I forgot to mention what I actually have on my face underneath this, but this is in the shade B30. It is the most rich, deepest shade that they offer this in, at least online and at the boutique I was at in Hong Kong. Works really well for the center of my face. And the product that I was showing you with or against or compared to is the Perfect Blur Powder by Shantikai. I was curious myself about the side by side and they are very, very close. But looking at the results right now of both of them, they are very, very comparable, very comparable. If I didn't tell you which one I had on, I don't know if I would even be able to tell. But this one does have SPF, so I appreciate that. So they both have a very nice blurring effect, a bit of coverage as well. Yeah, a little bit of smoothing, which I like. I like both of the results and they're wearing very similarly as the day has gone on. So if you can get your hands on this Perfect Blur Powder, if you're in another country, I know Shantika is a little bit harder to get a hold of, but you have access to this. This is very, very similar in the way that it's appearing on the skin. It also has niacinamide in it, which a lot of my skincare products have. Okay, so what I do have underneath this though is, where did you go? What I do have underneath though is the Sizzly Brightening Protective Moisturizer, which I used all through my trip. I used this under my makeup until I got this. It really was trying these out, but I brought this. This is what was on my face daily. And that's what I love. It's a little bit of brightening and then, and then there is titanium dioxide in here. I know this is pricey, which is why I wish they had a lot of the products that I picked up available here because there's brightening and SPF involved. This is the one that I purchased from Europe and it has a multi-defense shield SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 indicator on it on the same correcting brightening moisturizer product by Sisley. So that's what I was using daily. So I put that on first, then I went in with this product by Chanel and on the other side, I applied this Chantikai. And if you notice my hair, let's get into some hair really fast. My hair is very straight. I have been loving this product that I picked up in the month of April at the Sephora sale and I did a little demo of it. It's a really quick demo, but I just thought I'd show you kind of what I've learned so far. It's a newer to me product, but I really love the results. And what I think I appreciate the most is 
is, and I think their video said this too, and I thought that's really spot on, is that it's a natural, glossy look to it. That's what it really brings back. It brings back a glossiness to this hair that is not naturally glossy anymore. It can be wiry, it can be frizzy, it can be like flyaway at the end almost. It doesn't naturally have this weight. I did not add any serum or anything like that. I just washed and shampooed, washed and shampooed, shampooed and conditioned it. And then I went and I tried to keep it as towel dried of a state as possible before going in with this so you could see how it, from wet you can go in with this. Now I've also used this very wet hair on very wet hair. Why am I forgetting some words today? On very wet hair and it does really well. I've done this with more dry hair. What I find works best is towel dried hair where it's got still moisture in it and it hasn't dried out yet. That's the best result and takes a quicker amount of time. I'll talk to you about how I did that in the get ready video. And then for skin, so you'll notice when I said I want went in with these, this doesn't provide much coverage. So I've been really working on my skin even on vacation. I look after my skin and I did this when we got back because I watched the Dr. Lee video. They did another one on hyperpigmentation and melasma and a lot of the things that they talked about, I'll link that below, are things that I do. So along the way I have integrated all these things, although I have to say I hadn't done like a mask, a peeling mask or like a more intense mask at home once a week. So now I'm integrating this. This is the True Botanicals at Home Facialist Peel. And it does say on here, slight tingling may be experienced. And yes, there is a tingling with this and I don't have very sensitive skin. So I think if you have sensitive skin, you probably want to be very careful with what you're going to choose for that. But this is like, um, like a, what is that material? It's like a jelly type material almost. And I put a thin layer on, let it stay for 10 to 15 minutes, and then I rinse it off and continue with my face, face care, my skincare. And I just wanted to mention it, True Botanicals at Home Facialist Peel. Another thing I wanted to shout out, just because I've been enjoying the whole line, this is the entire line that I brought with me to Asia and I'm almost at empties on this. In fact, I think I have to go and put this in the empties bin. This is the Decorte line. I've got the eye cream, really lovely. This is for people, I love Chantecai, but this is for people who either don't have access to Chantecai or wanna try something different. They're very comparable in the way they feel and the results that I get. So if I could not use Chantecai products, I would go to Decorte because I was really happy with them. Nothing inter inter interfered with makeup application, which is another thing that I look for when it comes to skincare, is not interfering with makeup or sometimes you can get some residue that builds up with makeup. So that's something I look out for. We also have the, this is the second one I had, the lotion. So more like a toner. And then we have the Emulsion, which is a lightweight kind of a cream. And then I also have this one, the Absolute Treatment Cream. So all four of those things were the things that I brought with me to Asia. I had decanted them. Ooh, thank you for the recommendation to someone recommended these little modular travel cases that can be uh, cleaned and reused, which I really like that idea. And there's very small containers. That's the only thing I really want, teeny tiny containers but I do like the idea that you can reuse them. So I will list those below. I can't remember the name. I have been enjoying these vitamin C ampules by Circel. I talked about these before. These are individual. They were really easy to travel with. And if you're looking to integrate some vitamin C in and you travel a lot, these are great because they're not runny. They're more like, um, it's like, I'll have to think, but it's not runny at all. It's more like a, almost a paste. Yeah, it's almost like a paste. And then we've got here, I want to mention, because I decanted this and brought this with me, the vetted cleanser, it's very nice. It's got a thickness to it and then a foaming quality that I really like. I don't like runny liquid. I feel like half of it ends up down the drain. So this one is not runny at all. I really like the consistency of this. It's the vetted Derm Lab, and it's almost empty too. Vetted Derm Lab cleanser. I forgot to mention this a few times now because look, it's almost gone. This needs to go to empty too. It's by Audacity. It's the Sea Glow Hydrofirm Body Oil. Vitamin C and E Kakadu. 
This one is the moisturizer I, I have been using after showering and I really enjoy it because it moisturizes in a lightweight kind of way without leaving a residue, which is what some oils can do. They'll leave a residue, but there's no residue with this. You just get the nice moisturizing benefits of it. Because I had actually run out of my other toner, this one though I found, I didn't realize I had another one. Uh, I went to use these Elemis Dynamics resurfacing facial pads, which I like because it kind of eliminates one step. So these are the pre-moistened pads and there are, oh my gosh, I don't know how many there are in here. Oh, 60 of them. Yeah, so there's 60 in here. I've been using these as my step after cleansing and before I go in and go in with brightening kinds of materials, materials brightening kinds of products. Speaking of brightening, we've got the Clay de Peau brightening and I took this with me, still enjoying that. I also do my first cleanse with the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I had decanted this, works really well for especially hard to remove SPF. So that really tells me if a cleansing balm is working or not, is if it can remove that SPF because my SPF adheres really well to my skin, which is why I use it because I don't want it to move around and get displaced while I'm wearing it. But then when it comes to removing it, that can be a challenge. So this Elements Cleansing Mom does a really nice job of breaking that up. So that skincare is key. Okay, so moving on to more makeup products. We've got a couple of palettes because I really have been loving this for the last couple of months. The Sea Turtle in Cool, I don't even know is this available anymore by Chantecai, especially the shade right here. So beautiful. That is mainly what I wore when I was on vacation. Just a little wash of color, mascara, I was done. If I wanted to intensify, I just put this in the crease, but I loved that one. But then I did try another one in the month of April that I was impressed with by Hermes. And this is the one that I didn't think I would really enjoy because I was distracted by this color here, this pink. But if you look at it like this, it's a really pretty, lovely, cool, neutral palette. So this is a, like a silvery lilac. And then you've got here a like plummy color, but there's a lot of brown in there too. And then you've got this nice glow here, which is not chunky at all. It's nice and smooth. And then you have the pink. So when you add the pink, I added a little bit more today because I didn't add that much. In fact, I kind of skipped over that part once I added it because if I get the pink too close to my eyeball, it looks like I'm ill. So if I get it further away, like I did this time, I put that deeper shade in and then I, added the pinkier shade higher up. So that is what I have on today. Really lovely, consistent with the other Hermes palettes I've used. And those are one of my favorite formulations of eyeshadows are the Hermes palettes. Then for brows, I tried to illustrate again how I do this every day, but I, I don't think I succeeded because it's so difficult to make this look even on camera because the lights are not very forgiving if there are any mistakes with this. It shoots right through and it looks like I don't have product on. So if it's just a little bit inconsistent, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's distracting to me. But I did try to show you because really I just do one pass, get the brows in place and I'm done. So I tried my best to do that, but then I did fill in a little bit with a Gucci pencil, which was my go-to brow pencil this month, especially on vacation. I didn't want to take time to make it perfect, but I wanted to fill in in an even kind of a way. I did go in with Chantecaille's Eye base in medium before that though, and then we finished off with a Chantecai Faux Seal Long Slash Mascara, which I continue to love. Then we have a staple, Clé de Peau. I use that in the front here, dark spots, as well as here, um, but I'm not having to use as much because of all of the skincare I've been doing. I'm really careful with my skin in the sun as well. And of course we have for eye concealer, this one right here by Chanel, which also needs to go into the empties. <laughs> I can't remember if I already included, like it's so empty, but I'm still able to get product out of there. That's how good this is and how far it goes, is that even though it looks like there is nothing left, I probably could use this for some time and get a coverage out of it. And then I have the La Camouflage Stilo in that darkest part under my eye. Also, what I like to do is I like to put the uh, Clay de Peau Concealer on and then this, or in the evenings, I'll just use these Chanel products and then use this under eye just really slightly and then right on my dark spots and then that's it. I don't think it would look really good on camera because you'll definitely be able to see dark spots through, but in person it looks really nice. I also did use this powder just because I wanted to finish off and maintain the way this looks because I think it turned out really nice in terms of the foundation coverage and the overall finish. So I used the Clay de Peau powder, which is 
so good. I feel like, I don't think I've heard too much about this powder recently. It's a newly reformulated powder. You can refresh your makeup for, I think it was 12 hours, was there a claim? A long time. Not meaning that you can go for 12 hours without reapplying because especially depending on your skin type, I have combo skin, I needed to reapply. But when I reapplied, it didn't look like I had old makeup and then I was just adding powder on top, making it look worse, which can happen. It was that when I reapplied the powder, it looked like it was refreshed, like I had just applied my makeup, which is really a unique quality in powder. I really like that powder. Quickly, I do wanna mention that the that this is a favorite, this Frank and Eileen shirt dress. I wore this on the plane. It was a lot easier to change into the pajamas when we were traveling in the restroom rather than trying to like wrestle with all kinds of other things. So I do want to mention this and I was able to kind of roll it up and put it away until we arrived and then I could change back into this. And it's nice and lightweight as well. It's a little sheer because it's that wall fabric, but I was able to put a slip underneath, like a, actually it's like camisole that was silk and then some camisole, not camisole, some silk shorts underneath as well. So that's what I had under. And then knowing we were going to a warmer, more humid climate, it was kind of nice to be dressed for the weather. Also my Adidas Sambas, I am really loving those. I'm wearing them with everything from dresses to jeans to shorts, everything. So I feel like they go with pretty much everything and they're really comfortable. They're really soft. There isn't anything in the shoe that is digging anywhere. It's almost like wearing a slipper. That's how it feels. So I really am enjoying those. And also I've been loving my cause outfits, my sets. If I were going to purchase any more this year, which I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> I already reached my limit of five items and actually went over. Uh, when we went to Hong Kong, but I felt like that was once in a lifetime, or hopefully we get back. But for this year, that's our big trip. So I felt like I could splurge a little bit, but now I'm done purchasing. But if I were going to purchase more products this year, or more garments, it would be matching sets because I really like the way they look and it takes the thinking out of having to put something together because it already coordinates. But for blush, we have this on. This is the Terracotta Blush by Guerlain, it's in 00. I love that it's a very pretty blush that builds slowly. So it's nothing that's going to be too much. And so less is more kind of color. If you are medium coloring like me, it works really well. It is one of those skin flattering blushes that makes the cheeks and this area look really nice and serves as a bit of a color corrector for me as well and helps me from going overboard on blush, which I tend to do. So if you are looking for just a really pretty blush that's a little bit pinker than the uh, Valentina, which I have right here. I still love this by the way, but I feel like I really talk about this every time. So here's the Valentina 09. Here is the, okay. Here is the Guerlain Terracotta blush in 00. So you can see that it's got a pinkier tone to it, even though it's called light nude, it's definitely pinkier. For lips, I have two. I'm still loving this Swede Penelope Rose. I think it's so pretty. I wear this in the Get Ready With Me video and it's just almost like a more muted, lighter version of this lip that I have on right now. It's, I feel like it's in the same family and it just have a little bit like slightly maybe more tan let me see let me just swatch them right now so i can see from my own eyes yeah it's like a pinkier tone compared to this they are related though color wise and the one that i'm talking about right now that i have on right now is rock rose by chantikai it is one of my all-time favorite berry toned lip shades and formulas i just refound it which is why i've been wearing it a lot because I feel like every time I want to wear it, I can't find it. So now that I found it, I'm I'm really wearing it all the time. But that is a definitely timeless, tried and true product that always, always looks really beautiful. Of course, I'd use my staple products by Victoria Beckham. We've got here Trench for right under the eye. We've got Marble. I went down the sides of my nose really quickly, quickly with that. And those will remain staples. I wonder if I should do a staples video, like things I use almost every single time. That might help because I feel like those of you who have been here before know exactly what those are. And if you haven't been here before, you, they might be things you've never heard of. So let me see how I can put that together. But do let me know what you've been loving for March and April and maybe what you picked up from the Sephora sale that you are loving. I'd love to know because I always want to try out new things and you have really good recommendations. But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.